So it's currently the 1st of October, which means it is spooky Halloween season. And if you don't know, I love spooky Halloween season. As you can tell, I'm literally dressed as Gordon Ramsay right now. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So yeah, I take Halloween very seriously. So in today's video, I'm going to be starting to build a Halloween carnival with the help of one of you guys. So if you guys would like to be in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment your Roblox username. So that being said, let's get started. Okay, so this is the wonderful Jaden that is going to be helping me today with this I'm so excited, guys. You don't understand. Look, I've changed the grass. It's all foggy. All right, you ready, Jaden? Jaden is shaking in their boots right now. Shiver me timbers. Okay, we're going to be naming this carnival Alaska's Haunted Basement because that is literally what my Discord server is called at the moment. Okay, as you can see, we've got a pretty big layout of the carnival. Firstly, we have got parking, a pop-up shop, head dunking, apple dunking, I don't know, head apple dunking, I don't know what it's called, where you dip your head in apple, I don't know. We've got a maze, a sitting area, a few slides, a food truck, a few more pop-up stores, a haunted house, a pumpkin patch, and a graveyard. So yeah, it's pretty big. So I reckon the first thing we're going to do this episode is just work on the layout of the carnival because obviously we cannot finish it in one episode and where's the fun in that? Also, before we get started, we're literally 1,000 subscribers away from 800,000 subscribers. How crazy is that? Surprise. That's impossible. Like by the time I upload this video, I will probably hit 800k. So I just want to thank you guys in advance. That is insane. Okay, yeah, we've got a little footpath going on. I've actually never been to like a Halloween carnival. So I don't really know like what to expect. Oh, damn. Okay, we've got Jaden working on the graveyard back here. That is pretty snazz. First thing I should do is probably like the entryway. Because this is like the first thing you see when you walk into the carnival. So we need it to be pretty grand. I kind of want this to be like a pumpkin. But I don't know how on earth I'm going to make a pumpkin entry entryway to the carnival. I don't know if I told you guys this, but every day in October, I'll actually be dressing up in a new costume. So make sure to comment below like what costume I should dress up as next video. Also, why does that literally look like a taco right now? Um, <laughs> so this episode of the Halloween carnival, we're just going to be focusing on the exterior, what we usually do in the first episode. And then on the second episode, I'll actually be inviting another one of you guys on to help me decorate it. I think I'm going to decorate this carnival when the update comes out. Because if you didn't know, Bloxburg has a Halloween update every year and they release new Halloween items. So I want this carnival finished so then by the time the update comes out we can decorate it together and because this carnival is called Alaska's Haunted Basement we can just have an AV on the top y'all Jaden is killing it with this graveyard at the back here I love this this is so cool my question is how have we not ran out of graveyard space like the amount of people that die every day you're telling me still have room for graveyards <gasps> wait we can make this out of like stripes that would be kind of cool okay that turned out pretty cool but I just realized right at the front it looks like AV but when you go to the back <laughs> <laughs> it does not look like AV. I think I might eventually turn that into a decal, but for now that'll do. That'll do, donkey. Do okay, and I know we said we're not going to be decorating today, but the last thing we're going to do is just add like two pumpkins at the front. And Jaden just goes, why are trees so expensive? I'm telling you, Bloxburg wants us to go poor with these trees. You cannot be for real. Because like anyone can walk in here, I'm also going to add a gate. Oh, booyah, that is looking beautiful. Also, another thing in this carnival is we're not going to have any overhead lighting. Disgusting! All the lighting is going to be spooky, candles, very warm ambient lighting. And then finally, a nice little fabric awning at the front. Now for the parking, because there is going to be a lot of cars at this carnival. Also, I hate the fact that there is a gap on the road here. So all you do to fix this is just put a horizontal plank. And then you just put a carpet on the top, paint it the same color as the road. As you can see, it blends in with the road, so then you don't have this awkward little footpath. Okay, what's some spooky fences? I think these brick post fences are kind of spooky. We need to actually put this around the entire plot so people can't just break into the carnival. <laughs> Not only is Jaden adding an actual graveyard, they're also adding like coffins in the grave. That is so extra. I love it. I don't know if I should have this carnival during the day or during the night. I feel like I should have it during the night. I feel like it's more spooky during the night. So this section here is going to be where you sign in, like buy your tickets. I guess this can also be like where security is gonna go as well. Okay, so when you walk in, you sign into the right here. <gasps> Jaden said, what would you do if I added a few spiders? Absolutely not. Stop it. Get some help. The second person can work back here and this can be our security agent. So we can have our computer, a very totally not suspicious security camera right at the front. And then like a few TVs at the back here. You know what this reminds me of? 
Did you guys ever watch Toy Story? You know, the monkey with like the bell hand? This is what it reminds me of. I feel like a monkey should be sitting here. That also terrified me as a child, by the way. When I watched Toy Story and I seen that monkey, I had nightmares for like a week. Also, guys, I take Halloween so seriously. So serious, in fact. We have a four merch line on my Roblox group. If you haven't already, make sure to get your Halloween merch on my Roblox group. It will only be available for a limited time during October. And then it will be gone. Vanished. Okay, I think we're going to leave the security section for now. It's not going to look good until it's decorated in episode 2. Whoa! Jaden did not disappoint. Jaden came in, understood the assignment, and left no crumbs. I was going to add a pop-up store here, but because we have three pop-up stores, I think the next thing I'm going to do is add a working carousel. So I saw someone on TikTok, they built a little working carousel in Bloxburg. So credits to this person here. I'm going to try and do it and see if it works. So I think the first thing they've done was add a wall and then one of these bookshelf doors. The next thing they done was add a basic shape on the bottom shelf so like that and then with a transparent cube if this works i'm literally gonna scream i remember seeing it on tiktok i'm like that is absolutely insane that's insane i don't even know how to build a pony <laughs> do i have horses yes do i know how to build a horse in boxburg no wait i should probably give this horse legs right <laughs> just realized the little pony doesn't have legs oh my god wait should we make them sheep maybe if we make them sheep instead that would be kind of cute and you know what? i kind of want this to be a little unicorn so we can have a little horn on the top i love how i'm like guys we're making this into a sheep and then i'm like ah, actually never mind we're adding horns and then finally some eyeballs oh damn i just turn around and boom a maze i'm so excited to see how this maze turns out all right last thing we're gonna do is add a little saddle boom and we've got our weird looking horses. Yeah, one little pony costs $2,000. What are these ponies made out of? Gold? Okay, before we keep going on this carousel, we need to actually test if it works. Oh, <gasps> it works, kind of. Okay, now that that bit's done, the next thing they've done was add a roof at the bottom. Y'all, you know how excited I am by the fact that this works? Usually I see build hacks on TikTok and I'm like, oh, it looks cool, but I don't think it will work. And then what I'm going to do is add a pyramid roof all around the carousel. Y'all, low-key, why does that look like a spaceship? And with the help of some LED lights, we've got a gorgeous little carousel. Now let's see how Jaden is going with their maze. Oh, every twist and turn, we've got a new surprise. Like, turn to the right, boom. <gasps> A spider. A child. All right, what's going on over here? Oh, oh, I feel like I'm interrupting something. Them skeletons get more action than me. Okay, so next to the working carousel, we're gonna have a food truck. I kind of forgot how to build a truck in Bloxburg. I built a few like a couple months ago. I'm pretty sure I just have like a convex straight at the bottom here. And then a cute, why did Jaden add a jumbo cracker in my inventory? Last time I checked, love, it's not Christmas. I also cannot wait for Christmas. Again, I've literally got so many videos planned. You know how you look at cars and you're like, that car has a face? Tell me this truck doesn't have a face right now. But I am telling you right now. Yeah. Back there, it's not real. All right, put some round paintings for the wheel. I still don't know what we're going to sell at this food truck. Maybe pizza. You can't go wrong with pizza. <sighs> And then this is where you can order your food. Okay, you know what? I changed my mind. We're having a dark orange truck. And then the top bit can be green, so it can look like a little pumpkin. I guess we can also have a little stool. Just in case people are too short to order food. <laughs> we have to be inclusive, okay? Okay, I was thinking a little bit more about this carnival. We're definitely going to be adding, like, an escape room. One of those rooms that are, like, filled with mirrors. Every time I think of those rooms, I just think of the kid that, like, fell face first into the mirror. That would be me, honestly. Actually, very excited to see all your guys' Halloween outfits when I invite you guys to the carnival. Watch you guys all show up in, like, spider costumes, though. I regret opening my mouth and saying that I'm scared of spiders because you guys are now holding that against me. Jaden, why did you add inflatable holiday penguin in my inventory? Jaden's out here like, Christmas time, baby. The truck's looking scrumdiddly yum yum. My purr purr. And as for the inside of the truck, we're going to keep that for next episode. So now we can move on to the little carnival stand. Jaden just added a tall pumpkin in my inventory. Does that mean they're working on the pumpkin patch? I think they are. You know what? Surprisingly, I actually hate pumpkins. I hate the taste of them. They taste like really bad. That's, that's gross. Right, something about the taste of pumpkins. I absolutely hate. All right, for the pop-up stand. I have a little basic shape here. And then we're going to add a fabric awning up the top. Wait, can you lift these awnings like further out? Oh, <gasps> you can. Okay, I have a little idea. We might put this on like the opposite end. Oh my gosh. And then you have a tiny little pop-up tent. Wait, that's kind of cute. Maybe this is where we can sell like all the pumpkins and the popcorn. Actually, speaking of popcorn, do I have popcorn in my inventory? I've bought like 1000 popcorn machines and I don't know where they're gone. Well, it's fine because we're going to decorate it next episode. So 
So maybe just a ladder shelf. And of course, a few lights to make it Halloween theme. And there we go. We've got our first pop-up stand, which I'm very excited to decorate next episode. Let's see Jaden's little pumpkin patch. Oh, <gasps> wait, they're actually doing a really good job. Then we even got those green pumpkins. Now for the next pop-up stand, we're gonna do one of those um apple dunking things where you dip your head into apples. What are they called, by the way? What's the thing where you dip your head into apples? Apple bobbing. Oh. Okay, they're called apple bobbing. So something like that, I think. I actually don't know because I've never done it. So what I'm gonna do is put a barrel like this and put a semi-transparent cube and then we can make this into water. Then once we get out of build mode, we can put apples on top of the water. But we can add some barrels and then fill these up with apples. Oh wait, Bloxburg actually has a bin of apples. Um, I'm stupid. Okay, but jokes aside, I don't think I would ever do that. Dunking my head into cold, eerie water. Like, no. I'll pass. Oh, should we have like a judge's table? <laughs> Is there usually judges with like apple bobbing? I have no idea. I've never done it and I'm not planning on it. Like that sounds awful. Also, not only that, think about it. If you're putting your head, like you're dunking it in water, you're going to be sharing the same germs that like from like the previous people. So as I like to say, disgusting. Disgusting! I also have a few of these glass dispensers on the table. A little picnic mat. Oh, this biscuit basket looks so cute on the table. Biscuit basket. Also, Jaden, I'm stealing these trees. I can't be bothered to paint my own. They've already painted a bunch of them. So you know what? I'm copying them. Okay, and there is our little head bobbing, bobbing, head bob. I'm just gonna call it head bob. Look, this is our little apple head bob station. Jaden is working pretty hard on the pumpkin patch over here. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is the slides. Yes, we are gonna be adding slides. Wait, does Boxberg even have slides? They're water slides though. Well, you know what? I guess that's gonna have to work. So first we'll need a little ramp that goes up to the top here. I don't know how big we're making this slide. I'm also awful at like rides. Whenever me and my friends are at like a carnival, they're always like, Alaska, let's go on the rides. And I'm like, no, I will literally pee myself. <laughs> You lie. I hate the feeling when your stomach like drops. I don't know how big I want these slides, by the way. I feel like big is the better, right? I think that's big enough. That is very big, actually. I'm kind of scared. Oh yeah, that's definitely big enough. So now for the slides. Slides are so expensive, by the way, in Bloxburg. These slides here, so expensive. I don't even know how to make these work because I've like never done them before. Okay, how many slides are we gonna have? We're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have five slides. Oh, and we can make it like ombre. So this one can be dark brown and it can kind of go in like a pattern. So like in that pattern. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. So now we're going to attempt to add a slide. I don't know how we're going to do this. How does it just, how does it go down? Oh, okay. I think I figured it out. Have I? I don't know. Not really. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, guys, that's definitely safe. I'm trying to figure out how on earth am I going to make this work? Oh, okay. Maybe this one. And then we just kind of copy it. $16,000. Mate, why are you so exp All right, what? How much is this entire slide? 30000 30,000. Okay, now we just have to paint this slide. Oh, and boom. You know what? It actually kind of works. Technically, this isn't meant to be a water slide. It's meant to be a regular slide. Thankfully, Jaden is adding a fence to my stairs. I didn't think about that. Jaden's probably watching me build like, girl, where are your stairs? Wait, what if we make this like a ball pit? I turn this into a basement and then fill this in with basic shape. So once you get out of the slide, it's not too harsh on your bottom. Why am I turning British? I don't know. All right, so next episode, we're going to be turning this into a ball pit but for now we can finish up on this section here so i really want to have a little tiny movie theater type moment and the good thing is i have a projector so we can put this right here with a little tiny balcony just in case it rains so we're going to put a checkered blanket here so we know next episode that this is going to be a cozy outdoor cinema and then finally a few picnic tables i kind of want these picnic tables like all around the place just so people have like somewhere to sit now finally as you can see at the back here we have a lot of empty space this is originally where i wanted to have my haunted mansion but I think we're gonna move this to the back of the plot and instead add a little ferris wheel this is obviously what a ferris wheel looks like question is how on earth am I gonna build this in Bloxburg all right well Jaden is working on the haunted house I think I'm gonna add the ferris wheel the question is where are we gonna add the ferris wheel you know what I just realized there is no limit as to like how big I can have this um carnival so guess what we're gonna add the ferris wheel all the way <laughs> at the back here I don't know why but I'm so scared when I build new things in Bloxburg because I'm like I actually do not know what I'm doing Peter, how are you doing that? I, I, I don't know, Lois, I'm scared. 
I'm just praying to the gods above that it works. And if it doesn't work, then we cry. Sad, sad, sad days. Whoa, Jaden, look at these windows for the haunted house. Okay, you know when I said I don't like carnival rides? I lied. I like Ferris wheels. But that doesn't really count as a ride, does it? I just hate those rides that go like upside down. That is a big no-no. I swear. By the way, if Bloxburg adds a Ferris wheel in the new update, I'm actually going to go crazy, I think. Spend like 10 hours on a Ferris wheel. Bloxburg's like, oh, actually, Alaska, guess what? We're adding one. What? I was gonna wait for the update to come out start building my carnival But the good thing now is that like at least I can have my carnival all finished And once the update comes out then I can start decorating it and then invite you guys on so okay Yeah to build a ferris wheel in Bloxburg, you're definitely gonna need advanced placement Wow, you know what I love about myself the fact that I can't measure stuff out. What is this? It's not even okay. I know it was gonna flop but like not this bad. You know what we're gonna add pillars and it's gonna work use these simple sofas that's how everyone's gonna be able to sit down okay we've got the first chair okay we're getting there i promise with the power of the avatar we shall prevail Jaden just goes oh my god the ferris wheel is looking so good so far Jaden, let's be for real it's looking so bad what is this Jaden, don't look all right guys you know what they say second time's a charm you know what i just realized as well the ferris wheel right now is literally floating in the air you're a wizard, Harry. I knew I called this Alaska's haunted basement for a reason. All right, Ferris wheel, it's not a circle. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so the fall festival is all complete and comes to a total of $420,000. This is how the outside turned out. I love it. Oh, damn. Oh, oh no. Rest in peace. You will be missed. So yeah, I'm actually really keen to see this fall festival all decorated. Like it's not even done, but like we get a pretty good idea of what it's going to turn out like. Over here we have the little carousel ponies, which actually works, which is amazing. We've also got the little food truck, a little security station. This is where the movie theater is going to go. And then we have our massive slide, which I actually haven't used yet. Okay, let's see if this works, shall we? Ready? Boom. Oh, oh. Oh, damn. Jaden's little maze that they completed. Oh, I don't even know. I actually don't know how. Guys, I don't know how to finish this maze. I think I'm lost in here. Oh, no. Oh, get away from me. Oh, no. It would be awful if I just cheated my way out of the maze right now. Oh, no. Guys, I promise I'm not cheating. How dare you? Okay, then over here, we've got the little apple dunking station. So we're going to be taking apples, putting them on here. Or you can just swim in the bathtub like Jaden. Back here, we have the graveyard. If we follow this footpath, we've got the Ferris wheel. Let's not talk about it. Don't look at it. It's not a circle right now. It's not fixed. Jaden, don't look. Don't look. Don't look at the Ferris wheel. Listen, it's a work in progress. And I told you, don't look at it. All right, and then back here, we have the haunted mansion. This is actually going to turn out so good. I'm really excited to see this. And then finally, we have the little pumpkin patch, which obviously once the update comes out, we're going to be adding more pumpkins. But yeah, that is the, the layout of our little Halloween carnival. A huge thank you to Jaden for helping me out today. This carnival wouldn't be possible without them. And if you guys want to help me decorate the carnival, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.